Away from that, legal luminary and private legal practitioner Koto Ampao has passed. He was a veteran lawyer known for his stance on human rights and governance. Koto Ampao was popularly known as Chete. Let's take a look at some of his works and what he stood for as a private legal practitioner. Mainly know him as a lawyer who has worked at the Ecuador Prempe and Co. And he's also a human rights advocate. He championed the right of the LGBTQ plus group advocating for the uh, human rights. He's also a key uh, member of the movement for freedom and justice. These are just some few highlights of who the man Akoto Ampau is. Well, Dr. Charles Rekubrobe is a founding member of the New Patriotic Party and a former chief executive of the Volta River Authority. Uh, he's joining us at the moment to uh, talk to us about the life and legacy of now uh, the late uh, Dr. Lawyer Ampau. Uh, Mr. Brobe, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Good afternoon to you. Uh, Good afternoon. Very Good sad news, news for uh, the legal uh, association in the country as one of its key members of spies. But what did Lawyer Ampau stand for? Please ask the question again. What I'm asking is what Lawyer Koto Ampau stood for in his life? Well, uh, as he stood for justice and equal treatment of all citizens. But in all of that, I think there are many people who would try to claim that accolade. But I would describe him in one word. Incomparable is the way I saw Kupton Pao. Mm. He was incomparable as a legal brain. He was incomparable as a friend and brother. And incomparable in everything that he stood for. It's a peerless gem. I don't think there'll be one like him for a long time, at least not in my estimation. How much of a loss is his demise, particularly to? Uh, the NPP. We know that he worked with uh, uh, President Kufuado in 2013. Well, I, don't, in 2020. I couldn't comment on that. I mean, you have, I, I do not know him as NPP. I know him as a lawyer and a friend. And that's as far as I will go. Mm. Dr. Brobe, thank you so much for your time with us on the program. Dr. Thank Charles you very much. Yeah. Brobe, a founding member of the New Patriotic Party and a former chief executive also speaking about the life and legacy of lawyer Akoto Ampau. Lawyer Akoto Ampau we also know is the head of uh, the legal team of uh, Akufado in the 2020 election petition there. We know that legal luminary and private legal practitioner Koto Ampau has passed as part of his work. We know that uh, he was with President Nadia Dankwe Kufado in 2013 during the election uh, petition case, also uh, leading the Kufado team in 2020. Known by many for his work at Kufado Prempe and Co. also, a human rights advocate, as well as a key member of the movement for freedom and justice in 1990s for a return to democracy in the country. Now, part of the organizers of the famous Kumi Praku demonstration in 1995. In 2010, he got uh, high court to dismiss charges against former chief of staff, Kujo Mpieni, and former chief executive officer of the Ghana 50 Secretariat, Dr. Charles Rekubre, but he's also he was also the head of the team that defended uh, President Kufuado in the 2020 election petition there. Well, joining us now is Dr. Nyahu Nyahu Tamaklosa, a founding member of the NPP. Uh, thank you so much for your time, sir. Uh, how did the death of lawyer Kutu Ampau come to you? How did you receive uh, the unfortunate news? Well, it came to me as a shock. Honestly, I have not heard that uh, Kutu had not been well or anything. Um, Kutu Ampau, 
as I know him, I've known him for close to 40 years. Mm. Yes, close to 40 years. Uh, we have been in a lot of uh, political activities and events together. Uh, he was a great activist and a human rights lawyer, a true human rights lawyer. But recently, quite recently, when a, a young man uh, who organized some of these protests, you know, was being harassed, he came out boldly. Now, um, I don't, what really amazes me about Kuto Ampao in his later years is why he stood um, so quietly and did not complain or talk about what this country is going through at the moment. Mm. I expect that Trump out to talk strongly against it, even mm. though we all colleagues himself, the Sipkrat, and um, Akufuado himself, you know. You know, Akutu, as I knew him, should have come boldly to condemn some of the, uh, you know, atrocities and uh, sort of challenges that this country is facing at the moment. But for reasons best known to him, he was fine. Mm. Uh, so mm. Dr. Now, I, I know, he, I know he, the uh, two he, of you were great friends. What fond memories do you have to share about him? So as I said earlier on, this, is a, this was a principal man, highly principal, a great activist and a lover of freedom. And he believed strongly in the democratic institutions and rights of the individual. And as a human rights lawyer, he did a lot, not for the individual poor person, but for the people mm. of this 